Hello everybody, my name is Adam Noble, I am a developer at uh, Unhinged LLC, working on the game Lost Legend, and I wanted an effect similar to a Pokemon battle with other trainers in the Pokemon Game Boy games way back in the day. The effect I wanted was where you could walk in, so if this white circle is your character, you could walk in front of the, the trainer and have the trainer react and start the battle. Which was easy enough to do, except I also wanted to be able to talk to the trainer from any other direction to also start the battle, and doing both at once was a little tricky. Not to mention the code that I found to, to step in front of them, I also had to modify a bit to make sure I got the effect I wanted. So, big props to uh, this gentleman here, I'll put his, his info on screen in the video that he has, which is actually a little bit of um, a deviation from another video that he said it shows in his video. So a little bit, um, if you want to understand this a little bit more, go watch his uh, video first. Um, but I ended up coming up with this. So it's this whole string right here that you want to use first. And this is really long, so let me scroll through it here. I'm going to put it in the description. Essentially, um, he had scripts where it would uh, look at the, the enemy's direction they're facing, but it would be more like the entire direction. So if you were anywhere in like a big triangle line of sight, it would trigger. That's not what I wanted. Um, he also had one where if you were anywhere in, in kind of their um, same X and Y, you know, it would trigger, but I wanted it to be also the direction they were facing. So, for example, he had one where they could be facing to the left, like this trainer here, but you could be up here to the trainer's right, and it would still trigger. I didn't want that. I wanted it so it would only trigger off in the distance if you're in the line of sight, and then it would only trigger off to the sides if you clicked on the trainer. So I had to work on a little bit of a um, different script. So what I did, if I click on the event, um, firstly, it's a parallel event. You're going to want to do a same as characters parallel and do the image of your trainer. The first thing you're going to do is uh, do an if uh, conditional branch. So if you double click on your blank one, do conditional branch, uh, which will be on page one, conditional branch right here. You're going to add the conditional branch. If I go into this one here, you're going to go to page four, script. And that's where you're going to paste this script. I'm going to call it in the description enemy direction script and paste this whole thing as one line. All right, the whole thing. So in this, here's what this is doing. Uh, game map event, this event ID direction. So that's getting the direction of the the, the event that you're pl placing this on, the trainer per se. Um, if the direction equals two, and that's down, and uh, the event Y is less than the player's Y, and the event X, X, X coordinate is the same as the player's X uh, coordinate, and the Y is less than or equal to 8, which is the distance uh, away that you can be, then it will actually trigger the, the conditional uh, conditional branch. So this number here, this 8 that I've left here, uh, that's how far away your trainer will be triggered from. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you want to reduce that, you're going to have to change that number each num each time it occurs in this whole string. And now on top of that, to get it so that um, you can also trigger it from the other directions, you have to do the rest of this. So because this is a parallel event, you can also go up and click on it. So we kind of have to fake it. So that's where everything else comes in. That's where the rest of these comes in. So the player is above the enemy faces, facing down this part. So this is looking for this event. The Y is equal to the Y of the player plus 1. So essentially, the, the Y increases value as you go down. So that me, that's checking to see that the Y of the event is 1 higher, so 1 below, physically 1 below the event. And you're on the, the player and the event are on the same x-axis, then it'll trigger. With that first one, you also need to check with the conditional branch the player is facing down and the button OK is being pressed. Then we can control the self-switch. Self the self-switch is the battle. 
Um, and the third one is just uh, the death. So you have to do that for all the directions. So the second one that I've listed is players facing up uh, and OK button being pressed and so on. I have them all listed. You can get it all in the description. Um, so this is how you would make uh, a similar Pokemon battle. Um, the cool part about this is you can have whatever kind of movement you want. So if you want them to move or run or whatever, it'll work. Um, so that's kind of how I've how I've come up with this. Um, it took a lot of trial and error and a lot of mixing and mastering of other codes. I had to look up some uh, some script calls, but this is how you would do it. So it's a little bit tedious. Like like I said, you're going to need to basically do three conditional branches for each of the other directions if you want your players to be able to walk up and trigger the battle manually by just walking up and talking to your trainer or your guard or however you're going to do it. Um, the reason I wanted to set this up is because I have guards in a castle that I want to work the same way. Because you could set it up like this, where there's just events here in front if they don't move. But that's kind of tedious, and you have to change it every single time. It's different, and and all these four events, if you want to change the battle or whatever, change the actual enemy that's there, and it just gets a little too much, you know. So um, let me give you a demonstration here. All right, so here we are in the testing room, and here's our trainer walking around. If you see, I can get I can get right up next to him or whatever, and it doesn't trigger. I can press the button in any direction; it doesn't trigger. As soon as I walk up and talk to him, it starts the battle. It says you win because I didn't actually add battle processing. And if I reset this whole thing, you can also see that it works if I step in oh in the line of sight of my enemy here. Start the battle. So there you go. If you find this helpful at all, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, but uh, not here, as we don't really make YouTube videos, as you might be able to see, except for old VODs. So if you'd like to check us out on twitch.tv slash unhinged underscore, we would really appreciate it. As of right now, in May 2022, we stream on Sunday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, but check our Discord for any other information. Um, thank you so much.